Hey, it's Vlogging Brady here, and this is our varsity, a university for our viewers. And have you ever wondered about maybe riding in one of these? big bad boys or wondered maybe how much one of these cost or even maybe if you should buy one new or used well this is actually my rv it's a 2018 thor outlaw 37 rb toy hauler and i just went through the buying process on this little girl here big girl actually this big girl here and so i know a little bit about it plus i've owned travel trailers and lived the van life so i've learned a little bit about the buying process which is what i wanted to talk to you about today because i actually don't feel like a lot of people understand that these rvs can be fun financed just like a house so you're making a payment on this it's a lot cheaper than what you think so I'm gonna break down the numbers for you right now RVs are financed just like a house either 10 20 or even 30 years it just depends on the cost of the RV the long terms may go out longer depending on how much you finance and that also changes the interest rate as well as if you decide to put down a down payment. Now sometimes if it's over a certain amount, I know for me if it was over $999,999 aka $100,000 they were requiring a 10 to 20% down payment on this RV or any RV that I wanted to finance but if it was below that amount they never really required the down payment and that also depends on the bank so you may have to put down a down payment but keep in mind that you can trade in almost anything if you use a larger dealership for your RV so cars grills guns they take all kinds of stuff in on trade or even another RV that you might already have. If you're looking to buy an RV, the best thing that you can do is do your research. And if you wanna know how much one costs, you wanna see what other people are offering theirs at for sale. So if you head over to rvt.com or rvtrader.com, you can get a really good idea of what other people are listing their RVs, both dealerships and private sellers. And you can also run some calculations. I actually ran a calculation. So if you found this RV, this 2018, the Thor Outlaw 37RB toy hauler, which is what this is. This is a 2018, but you can find other year models. And you paid $99,000, AKA $100,000. If you were to finance that and put down $5,000 and let's just say that you got an interest rate of about 5% it depends on the long terms how long you go out the bank that you go with the amount that you finance there's all kinds of things that go into this but we're gonna say we're doing it at 5% APR so this is gonna be your interest rate and then, this is annual percentage rate, 180 months or 15 years, it's gonna estimate your payment. So if you're doing 180 months at 5%, you're financing 99,000, putting down 5,000, the amazing monthly payment that you're gonna make is $743.30. A month. Imagine if you were financing something for way less. So I had a trailer that I financed and I think it was about $32,000. Don't remember the terms exactly, but I financed the trailer. It was $32,000 and it definitely went out over maybe 10 or 15 years. And it cost me about $230 to $300 a month for my trailer. If you're looking at something that's $30,000, then you're gonna be looking a lot less on the payments, um, depending on your financing terms. I wanted to run this calculation and give this to you to give you some really good ideas and help you understand that RVs are financed like houses because they are houses. I mean, we're here in the kitchen and 
they're going to finance it like a house. So it's not like a car. The payments aren't going to be astronomical on an RV like you think they would. Some other things that I wanted to mention are RVs are depreciating assets. So don't think that you're going to purchase an RV and that it's going to magically increase in value because it's not it's going to decrease in value other costs also depend on your rv lifestyle so are you going to be paying for rent or storage fuel propane electric sewer water internet cable all of these costs associated with your rv when you're buying an rv or even renting an rv trade-ins like i mentioned are welcome at the rv dealerships versus a private seller so you might be able to trade in a car or a grill or a gun or something random that you have another rv at a dealership that you wouldn't be able to do with a private seller and also the dealerships will shop around for you it's a really good idea to check with the dealerships and see because my bank actually charged more and wasn't willing to finance the same terms as another bank was so on this rv lazy days in tampa actually ran my credit with several different banks and it ended up being a better deal for me to go with bank of america than it was for me to go with usaa who i would normally finance my rv through if you want to know anything else about rv financing i actually have some video tutorials that i made on those down below this video that you can check out now you know how much an rv costs or how much an rv like mine costs i've given you the breakdown but it's just one part of the buying process and i know that this can be kind of confusing so i've put links to all of the things that i mentioned in an amazing guide my rv buying guide down below this video you can pick that up as well as links to all of the videos and things that i've mentioned so if you're not checking the description below this video you're really missing out i'm vlogging brain this is our varsity at university for our beers. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. And before I forget, because I know that people ask me this, you always say, where am I at when I make these videos? So we're actually here, if you can see. Kind of, you can't really see, but we're here at the KOA Journey. So Las Vegas KOA Journey. Traveled all the way, so if you didn't see those vlogs, check below this video.